Lawmakers in the U.S. House of Representatives last week refiled a bipartisan bill to legalize and regulate marijuana at the national level. The legislation, known as the State's Reform Act, was reintroduced by South Carolina Republican Rep. Nancy Mace, according to a report from online cannabis news source Marijuana Moment. Mace first introduced the state's Reform Act in 2021 with support from four Republican co-sponsors. The new version of the legislation has bipartisan support, with original sponsor and California Republican Tom McClintock, Republican Rep. Matt Gates of Florida, and Democrats Rep. Dean Phillips of Minnesota and Maryland Rep. David Trone signed on as co-sponsors. When Mace first introduced the bill during the last Congress, she expressed hope that the legislation would gain bipartisan support. But the legislation never gained backing beyond the original Republican co-sponsors and never came up for a vote. The new version of the legislation has not yet been made public, according to Marijuana Moment. But when originally introduced, the bill was seen as an alternative to the Marijuana Opportunity and Reinvestment and Expungement more, Act, a federal cannabis legalization measure supported by many Democrats. The Moore Act was refiled in September by Rep. Gerald Nadler, the ranking member on the House Judiciary Committee, with co-sponsorship from 33 fellow Democrats. Under the original version of Mace's bill, cannabis would be removed from Schedule 1 of the Controlled Substances Act, and the states would be allowed to take the lead on marijuana legalization and regulation for their jurisdictions. At the federal level, cannabis would be regulated like alcohol, with the U.S. Department of Agriculture responsible for regulating growers while medical uses would be overseen by the Food and Drug Administration. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives and the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau will regulate cannabis products under the bill. The state's Reform Act also levies a 3% federal excise tax on cannabis products, with revenue raised dedicated to funding law enforcement, small business, and veterans' mental health initiatives. The state's Reform Act also ensures safe harbor for state medical marijuana programs and patient access to medicinal cannabis. The legislation also specifically protects the use of medical cannabis as a treatment for arthritis, cancer, chronic pain, sickle cell disease, HIV, AIDS and post-traumatic stress disorder. Criminal justice reform provisions of the bill include the release of prisoners convicted of federal nonviolent cannabis-related offenses and the expungement of records of such convictions. Cartel members, agents of cartel gangs, or those convicted of driving under the influence will not be eligible for relief, however.